Sucker! Booker T, um, uh, six-time world champ, two-time Hall of Famer. Um, very, very, very special guest. Um, big weekend coming up, a big weekend of boxing, um, going down Michelob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, tickets still on sale right now, guys. You can go to the Fox Sports app and, um, you know, check it out on any screen that you like. And I'm excited. Um, Keith Thurman making his return um, back inside the square circle, taking on Mario Barrios. And um, looking forward to the fireworks um, going down on Saturday night. What's going on, Keith? What's up, Booker T, man? Like you said, we're just chilling here at the Michelob Ultra Arena, man. Uh, we're just days away from this brilliant fight night, Saturday night, Fox pay-per-view against Mario Barrios, man. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but I'm a warrior. I've been meditating for this, and I'm ready for this. You know, um, meditating, that, that, that right there, first thing comes to mind for me. Um, they say... Um, Time off is an athlete's worst enemy. Um, over this um, layoff, you know, what has it been like? Uh, it's really been a blessing in disguise, man. And I'll explain why. Back in 2019, when I took my first um, loss to Manny Pacquiao, um, that hurt my soul. You know, that hurt me deep because Keith Thurman is was raised in this game like a pit bull. I was that young dog. I was there to take away that veteran. And, and I had the skills and capacity to beat Manny Pacquiao. One judge gave me the fight, even with the knockdown. We were in it in the moment. We just fell short. It was like LeBron J James, game seven. He's got the ball in his hand. He's got three seconds on the clock. The ball's up in the air. It hits the rim. It just doesn't go in. And the game's over. No championship. You got to wait to um, next season. And it just hurts when you know the rock's in your hand. You have the capacity, but you stumble. You hiccup. You make the fall. There's no one else to blame. So it hurt me deeply. I didn't blame my team. I didn't blame my wife. I didn't blame anybody else. I blame myself. And so this time off, all this time off, allowed me to forgive myself for my mistakes. I'm just a human being. I'm just one man. And, yeah. and sometimes we're not perfect. And in 2019, I made a lot of mistakes, Booker. I really did. I was slipping a little bit. I wasn't focused. I wasn't mentally um, right. I thought I was right. I talked myself into it. You know what I mean? But we really weren't where we needed to be. And yeah. so we've established that. And we've definitely got a better mindset going into this year, 2022. I'm really looking forward to Saturday night. I'm looking forward to the challenges that Mario Barrios is going to throw at me. And I look forward to trading with him toe to toe, blow for blow, and letting him understand that when you step up to 147 and you step up to Keith Thurman, it's just a different kind of fight. Man, man. I know you uh, went into that fight with Manny Pacquiao um, on, on cloud nine. You, you just got married. I'm sure the uh, the, the, the wed wedding ceremonies was beautiful. Um, but, but I tell you, my question is, um, after like the second round of that fight, I could see something was a little bit off. But but you still per persevered, you still fought, you still bit down on your mouthpiece mm -hmm. and you fought. Um, but um, after 28 flawless victories, I'm talking about like Sub-Zero, get over here, those type of victories. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm serious. And then yeah. um, that loss to Manny Pacquiao, um, I always talk about that cloak of invincibility. Um, what did that loss do to you? You know, um... It just, it just made me have to accept all the wrong things that I did, you know? Um, you know how it is. You don't want to accept, as a man, you don't want to accept that you're wrong until you're really put in a position. You know, eventually, you know, you get, uh, you get locked up, you're in the pen, you're in that jail cell, and now you got time to reflect, like, yeah, you know, I got a little too drunk that night, you know, I, I, I shouldn't have. You know, I shouldn't have had that fight at the bar. You know, I didn't need to bust that bottle upside that man's head, you know, yeah. uh, and send him to the hospital. You know, I, I could have just maybe put one or two hands on him. You know, I mean, I, you know, sometimes we got to do what we got to do, Booker. But <laughs> at the end of the day, um, we, 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 as human beings, we make mistakes. And in 2019, my mistake was my weight management. I, I had to lose 35 pounds when I fought Jose Cito Lopez. That was after a 22 month comeback. That's okay. You know, I, I was a little bit of a fat boy. That's okay. But after, after that, I should have been able to have some weight management, but instead I blew right back up to 182 pounds. I had to lose 35 pounds again to fight Manny Pacquiao. And my whole fight camp was about making weight, making weight, making weight. And I wasn't based upon fight strategy, you know? So 
there were some mistakes being made there. I knew I was competing injured the whole year. I knew that, that 2019 was not the best version of Keith one time Thurman, but I was scared Booker. A doctor was telling me, we're gonna cut your hand open. We're gonna put some bones together. We're gonna do some things and everything's gonna be all right, champ. And I'm like, yo doc, if everything's not all right, I'm gonna have to hit you with my one good hand cause you're gonna mess up my life doc. <laughs> You know, so at the end of the day, he said, Keith, are you ready for hand surgery? And I said, nah, I'm ready to go fight Manny Pacquiao and, and live this dream that I wanted. I wanted this big fight when I was 26, 27 years old. And now it's finally here. And if I don't say yes today, I might not get another chance tomorrow. So it was just a rough year, man. Um, a lot of things could have been done differently, but I could have just focused on the strategy of, you know what? you don't have your left hand. So let's let's double down on your right hand. Let's, yeah. let's do what Marquez did and let's focus on one punch and make it count, you know? So at the end of the day, man, um, there were just so many minute decisions. Even the night before the fight, you know, um, I was eating way too much. I was, I, was, I was eating like I was already having a feast in celebration before yeah. the fight was over. And I felt a little sluggish. You know, um, you hear about people, you know, you gotta, you gotta hit the scale, then you gotta eat the proper nutrients the day before the fight because you don't wanna feel bloated, you know? Um, and, and there's things that, you, you know, we know what to do and what not to do, but then we find a way to just still do the things that we're not supposed to do. And that's what happened to Keith Thurman in 2019. And I forgive myself. Yeah. I forgive myself. I, I'm letting I, I, go. I, that, I, that's I, in the past. I say making weight in 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 that in that game right there is a science, man. What you guys do is, yes. is remarkable. Um, having to make weight on pin, a pinpoint accuracy. Um, you know, I, I, the, my my next question. What do you say about, you know, when I was a boy, um, Muhammad Ali, he was 32 years old, and people were saying, man, he's, he's getting over the hill, he's getting old. Uh, and then uh, he signed up to fight George Foreman, Foreman, the rumble in the jungle. He went over there, yeah. and Doc shook up the world, he said, you know, every all you doubters, never doubt me again. You, you might get me when I'm around 50. Uh, you're in that same <laughs> position. You're in that same uh, unique position right now of going against Mario Barrios. You're 33, Barrios is 26, and people are saying, man, look at the young guy, and then look at you coming off of a two plus year layoff um how is he going to handle this situation perfect scenario for you oh definitely man that's why um we're on a campaign man this whole model right now is i am back Keith one time thurman is back it's about the focus it's about the determination it's about the effort that i put into myself for the beautiful sport of boxing and that's what's going to manifest come saturday night to be honest yes it's two and a half years, but my body feels physically better than it did in 2019, okay? So I can almost say that I feel younger than I did then because I'm moving better. I've been listening to my doctors. To know the sports science that I know and to not apply it to my body is straight ignorance. And, and I've evolved and I've matured to where I've allowed my mentors and the words that they've been giving me over the years, it is finally sinking in. Keith, one time Thurman, I warm up properly. I stretch properly. I leave the gym um, with, with, with proper cool down exercises. You know, I'm doing everything that is necessary for my body so that I can be a high performance athlete. 33 years old, I'm still in my prime. It's not over yet. You know, and that's what Muhammad Ali was trying to tell people. You're counting me out, but I'm still in my prime, baby. You know, you got to understand it's, it's, it's how we do things. We're not perfect. Some camps are going to be better than other camps, but when you're focused and you're determined, and you want to make a statement, you know, it's, it's up to the individual to bring that out of themselves. I just want to manifest my true greatness. I don't think it's ever been manifested. You said I've dominated sub-zero flawless victories. <laughs> Keith one time Thurman wants to get right back to that kind of mentality. It's funny you say that. I was almost thinking about um, coming out with a Mortal Kombat uh, 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 costume. It was just something about me. I don't, so, so we got the same kind of spirit, man. There was something about me. I was like, you know, that's what Keith Thurman is gauging for. I want to get back to that flawless victory. I want to showcase my skills and talent and show them that I'm a bad, bad man. 
Hey, man, it's going down at uh, Michelob Ultra Arena uh, Saturday night. Um, you don't want to miss out on uh, Mario Barrios against Keith Thurman. Uh, my idol uh, right here to my right, Muhammad Ali, uh, he always had a prediction, man. And, you know, uh, you know, he, he wanted to go to heaven, uh, so I took him in seven. You know, he always had yeah, something yeah. Uh, to, to make you feel. <laughs> Do you have a prediction how this thing is going to play out? Is it going to be a knockout, or is the referee just going to have the, have the wherewithal understanding and know how to step in and stop it? Or do you want to get in there and test the leg? and um you know get a feel of, of just being back in front of that that mega crowd which which one is it? i definitely want to just be back in front of this mega crowd but i do got something very special lined up for mario barrios in round one i'm gonna show him the gun and i'm gonna put that boy on his back foot and we're gonna see him run 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 <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, man. Uh, Keith Thurman, man, it's going down there again, guys, Saturday night. Um, don't miss out. Don't get shut out. Go to the Fox Sports app, um, and you can get it and watch it on any screen that you like. Bro, I wish I was going to be there, um, but um, good luck on the fight, and uh, congratulations on your return, bro. Yo, thank you, Booker. I appreciate all the love and support. Shout out to H-Town. Shout out to everybody that's going to be tuning in Saturday night. Your boy, Keith One Time Thurman, will live up to the name. And I will be performing and giving you guys a tremendous performance come Saturday night. You're not going to want to miss it. Get the popcorn. Get the fried chicken. Do what you got to do. I heard it's cold out there. Buckle <laughs> down and get ready for a great night of boxing come Saturday night. Boom, you're in the Hall of Fame. Appreciate you, bud. One love, my man. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker.